This week on Ninja Lab, we're taking a look at the most recent qualifiers held at Ultimate Obstacles and Movement Lab New Jersey. That's the original one. Hello, my name is William, and I am here to talk to you about all the results of the National Ninja League Season 5 leading up to its World Championship, and let's get started with the results from Ultimate Obstacles. Alright, the bad news is that we only got some of the footage for Ultimate Obstacles, so we're going to read out the results while random footage plays in the background. For the adult female division, in third place was Elizabeth Dulac. Elizabeth uh, completed the eighth obstacle titled Wee in 3 minutes and 20.32 seconds, which qualifies her for the World Championship. In second place was Kristen Sinazzi, who made it two obstacles further, completing that in 6 minutes and 25.57 seconds. And in first place was Alyssa Beard, who made it one obstacle further, completing Now That Jug in 3 minutes and 26.07 seconds, adding 10 points to her season total. And for the adult male division, in third place was Luke Dillon, who completed Put the Ring on the Giraffe in 6 minutes and 33.72 seconds. This is a very long course. It was the 17th obstacle of the course to be specific. In second place was Nolan LaJoy who completed the same obstacle in 5 minutes and 40.96 seconds. And in first place was Lucas Reale who failed the same obstacle as the other two but made it to that point in 5 minutes and 11.53 seconds adding 10 more points to his season total. All right, there's only two results this week, so I have a lot of plugs that I have to get through before I go through the last gym. If you want to compete in our National Ninja League Season 5 World Championship being held in Greensboro, North Carolina, February 21st, that is the start date, to February 23rd, you have to qualify. If you haven't qualified yet, there is still time, not a lot of time left, mind you, but go to NationalNinja.com to look up where qualifiers are being held and see if you can make your way to one of those qualifiers events before time is up. Also, you got to go to NationalNinja.com in order to buy yourself a ticket for if you want to just watch the finals events in person and get your butt over there and watch with me and the rest of the NNL crew and some of your favorite ninjas. Hey, and don't forget, we're selling merch on our merch store. Link in the description. Get yourself a National Ninja League shirt or mug or phone case or hat or other stuff. And finally, we got ourselves a common question of the week, y'all. I love looking at your answers for the common question of the week. This week's common question of the week is, in your personal opinion, which competitor would you want to meet most at the National Ninja League World Championship? For those of you who aren't aware, we do are we are doing live meet and greets at the World Championship this year of some of your favorite ninja competitors. However, we want to know who else do you want to meet in person? And we'll see if we can make that happen. No guarantees, but we are listening to you. And now, with all that out of the way, let's take a look at the results for Movement Laboratory. For the adult female division, in third place was Abby Clark. Abby was looking really good on the first half of the course, showing off her incredible upper body strength. And unfortunately, when she reached the seventh obstacle, the Sonic Net, she was unable to get a hold of said cargo net and hit the ground hard. Fortunately, she is okay and adds eight more points to her impressive streak of National Ninja League performances. In second place was Mei Ling Huang. Mei Ling took her time throughout the course, making sure to take a breath after every obstacle, and this ended up paying off as she was able to complete the obstacle that Abby couldn't, getting through the Sonic Net in 1 minute and 40.74 seconds. Unfortunately, on the very next obstacle, she was unable to grip the giant nunchucks and unfortunately, she fell at that point on the course. But the good news is that she earns 9 more points on her season total. And in first place was Rachel D. Goods. Rachel had a similar pace as Mei Ling, however, she was able to complete the Sonic Net in a minute 35.88, 
And this is very key because, similar to Mei Ling, she was unable to hold her grip on those thick nunchucks that followed that obstacle. And that performance allowed her to earn 10 more points with a first place finish. Come on, please. Come on. For the adult male division, in third place was Judas Licadario. Judas looked good on the course and had to just power and muscle his way through those thick nunchucks with every fiber on his being. You can see the pain in his face as he was making his way through the obstacle. Fortunately for him, the obstacle afterwards was just some simple monkey bars, but unfortunately when he finally started the cane swing, he was very low on time and when he tried to rush it, he was unable to maintain his grip and he slipped right to on the final obstacle. Come on, come on! Oh God. Go back for it, go back for it! Grab it! Let's go! Come on, dude. yes! In second place was the Phoenix, Naji Richardson. Naji knew what time he had to beat to get first place and was trying to get through the course as fast as he could. But those nunchucks took a bit of time to get through as you can hear him powering through each grip to make sure he didn't fall off. And he ended up completing the entire course with a time of 1 minute and 50.3 seconds, which was close, but not quite enough for first place. And in first place was Adam Burnett. Adam actually ran pretty early in the day, and at that point had not seen anyone complete those thick nunchuck obstacle. So when he reached it, he was able to power through the nunchucks and was able to set the time to beat at 1 minute and 46.21 seconds, a time that no one was able to defeat throughout the entire day giving him first place and 10 more points for his season standings. Hey y'all, make sure you go watch full runs from this week's featured qualifiers, as well as subscribe to know when new videos go live, including when our live streams of our world championships happen in February. Thanks all for watching, later.